don't make me see. Xavier, I can't. Stop it. Stop hey, bubs. The trailer for the new X-Men 97 animated series just dropped, and it was a treat for the 90s Marvel fans. I mean, the old X-Men are coming back after almost 30 years, and we're already feeling nostalgic. But even after the trailer dropped, the new Marvel fans who were introduced to the world of X-Men after 2000 are confused about what is happening in this animated series. They have many burning questions, and one of the significant questions is, did Charles Xavier really die in the X-Men animated show? And if he did die, what happened to the X-Men after that? Well, we're sure the 90s X-Men fans already know what's happening here, but hold your horses and let's learn about what happened to Charles Xavier in the original series, and if he could return to the new X-Men 93 animated series. But before we get started with the video, we have a small request for you. If you like our content, subscribe to us and like this video. It might just be a simple click for you, but it means a lot to us. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get started. Mutants are human beings. <coughs> They wish only equal protection under the law. The final chapter of the X-Men animated series. The final episode of X-Men the animated series, titled Graduation Day, starts with Henry Peter Gyrich, a prominent mutant hater, pitching to the world about the dangers of the mutant kind at a summit at the United Nations. However, Professor Xavier opposes the accusations by claiming that mutants have as much right to live as humans. Fed up with Charles' sympathy for mutant kind, Gyrich uses a device and overloads the professor's telepathy, which impacts all all the humans in proximity. This proves to the world that mutants look similar to humans but are freaks. Although Gyrich is arrested and taken away, this attack on Professor X leads to a significant backlash from the mutant community. If such a powerful mutant can be harmed on live television, what will the general public do to all other mutants? So, all the other mutants consider this a significant attack on their kind, and start attacking humans to prove their dominance. After the attack, the Professor is taken to the X-Men mansion immediately, but Beast claims they can't help the Professor with their inferior technology. Technology. He reveals that Charles' lover, Lalandra, and her Shi'ar technology might be able to save the Professor's life. The problem is that Lalandra is miles away in space, and only Charles can reach her with his telepathy, but he doesn't have enough power to reach his lover. So the X-Men travel to Genosha to seek Magneto's help. Around the same time, Magneto is getting ready to lead an army of angry mutants to take over the world, and finally end this cycle of hatred for mutant kind. But Wolverine, Jean Grey, and Cyclops make it in time, and tell Magneto about Professor Xavier's bleak state. Upon learning about his former friend and adversary's condition, Magneto is unable to decide if he should go with the X-Men or help the angry mutants. Ultimately, his love for his former friend wins, and he follows the X-Men to their lair. While Charles is on his deathbed, Magneto uses his powers on him, and with one final blast of his telepathy, Professor X contacts Lalandra. After contacting her, Charles addresses his X-Men individually and entrusts the future to them before taking his last breath. But Lalandra arrives on time and saves Charles Xavier's life, using the Shi'ar technology. She reveals that the Professor's life can be saved, but she might have to take him to Shi'ar. The X-Men are hesitant to let their Professor go, but this is the only way to save him. So the X-Men bid goodbye to their Professor, and Lalandra takes Charles with her to Shi'ar. And that's where the story of the original animated series series ends. A hell of a cliffhanger, right? Well, don't worry. After 30 years of that episode, we finally get to learn what happened to Professor Xavier and the X-Men. What do we know about Charles from the trailer of Marvel's X-Men 97 animated series? This new X-Men 97 animated series that's coming to Disney Plus Hotstar picks up right where the original series ends. And the new X-Men 97 animated series trailer gives us more juicy information about what might have happened to Professor Xavier. The trailer basically starts with Charles on his deathbed and giving a sentimental speech to the X-Men. Then we get shots of a memorial and a coffin being dropped, indicating that Charles is dead. But if you'd watched the original series, you might be aware that the the professor did not die. He was saved by his lover Lalandra and taken to Shi'ar to get him treated. So the big question arises, who's the funeral for? Well, we think it is a ruse pulled off by the X-Men to make the world believe that Charles Xavier is dead. This might make him a martyr who gave his life, fighting for the equality of the mutants. The goal of this ruse might be to calm down the agitated mutant crowd, who are hell-bent on destroying humans, and gain sympathy from the human leaders to give mutants the same status as humans. This might be a good plan to prevent any possible human and mutant war, but there's another detail in the trailer that indicates toward the possible death of Professor X. At the end of the trailer, Magneto addresses the X-Men, and reveals that according to Charles Xavier's will, he is now in possession of everything that belonged to the Professor. 
and a will is only disclosed when one is dead. That begs the question, what is Marvel trying to play at? But the real question here is if Magneto had redeemed himself by the end of the animated series and even helped Charles on his deathbed, why is he trying to take over the Xavier Mansion and everything that belonged to Charles while he is still alive? Well, we know Marvel is notorious for deliberately showing some scenes or shots that are not present in the series or are misleading to play with the audience's heads. Remember how the Hulk was shown in his original form in the Infinity War trailer? And in the movie, we literally had no scenes where the Hulk was at full power? The ending of the X-Men 97 trailer is probably something like that. Most of the new fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe are unaware of the original X-Men animated series, and this might be Marvel's plan to off-track the audience and make them assume that they will see the adventures of the X-Men after the death of Professor Xavier. We all know how clever Marvel is when it comes to marketing, so take Marvel's trailers with a grain of salt. While the last scene of the trailer might be a red herring, there's still a possibility that there will be an internal struggle among the X-Men as to who will lead them. From the trailer, it's clear that Cyclops is the de facto leader of the X-Men, and he even uses the catchphrase, to me, my X-Men. But Magneto still might be in the role that Charles was in, trying to control the actions of the X-Men. Well, if you didn't know, Magneto has led the X-Men several times, and most of the time, he comes in conflict with Cyclops about which direction the mutants should go. Although Magneto might have the right things in mind, his actions are often too harsh and extreme. And this conflict between Magneto and Cyclops might be a significant plot point in the new animated series. It remained the same innocent child I met so very long ago. What should have happened to him? Will he come back from the dead? We're unsure if Charles Xavier will make a return for the new animated series, because Marvel usually loves to take some creative routes and make their storylines unique from comics. But something similar has happened in the comics, where Professor X was taken to Shi'ar by Lilandra. In the Uncanny X-Men issue number 200, Magneto was facing a trial for all the crimes he had committed, and Charles Xavier was with him through the whole ordeal. There was also an angry mutant-hating mob, just like in the X-Men animated series, who wanted Magneto to be imprisoned. However, Magneto was proven not guilty, but during the trial, the court was attacked by the Strucker twins, who were there for revenge. During this time, Professor X was in a weakened state, but still, he held his own and protected the civilians there. By the end of the fight, Charles was severely injured, and Lilandra came to his aid and took him with her to the Shi'ar spaceship to get him treated. While leaving, Charles Xavier entrusted the Xavier Mansion and the X-Men to Magneto, hoping he would lead the team in the right way. After arriving on the Shi'ar spaceship, Professor X was saved, but trapped in space because the spacecraft was damaged and he could not make it to Earth. And we think the new X-Men 97 animated series might play along the same lines as this comic. It is possible that the X-Men will go through their usual adventures, and there will come a time when they will start losing. When all hope seems lost, that's when Charles Xavier will come down to the X-Men's aid. Or there are two more theories as to when the Professor can come back. The first is that the series develops the conflict between Magneto and Cyclops, and when it reaches a breaking point, Charles Xavier returns to take his role again and negate the tension between the two. The second possibility is that the X-Men will deal with all the threats on their own, and Charles will not make an appearance until the post credit scene of the last episode. This is a very plausible scenario, because Marvel is notorious for ending their series and movies on a high note, leaving the audience anticipating the next installment. This will probably be the best scenario, because that way, Marvel will have a chance to give us a second season of the X-Men 97 animated series, and if the first season does well, we think we won't have any complaints against Marvel making a second one. Marvelous Verdict Charles Xavier has always been our favorite teacher, and at some point, we wished we could study at the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. And this year, we're going to revisit those fine memories of the X-Men animated series days. Although we have cleared all of your doubts regarding whether Charles Xavier is alive or not, and what will happen to his character in the new animated series, we're sure you will also have theories of your own, and we would really love to hear about your theories and speculations in the comments section. The best part is we don't have to wait long to get our answers and see if our theories are correct, because the X-Men 97 animated series is dropping on Disney Plus Hotstar on March 20th. With that being said, if you like our content, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!